want to talk about updating the Mazda Connect for Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay. So as far as I know, none of the new Miatas yet come with the updated USB like a, uh, piece. So you need to tear this all apart and replace it. But first, you need to update your firmware. So got this big old thing here. Never done this before. I haven't even read this yet. So I'm gonna fumble through this probably. It says remove an SD card from here if you have navigation. So remove your SD card from this little dude down here. Um, and all other devices, any USB auxiliary or mobile phones. So turn off your Bluetooth as well from your phone. It says push the engine start button once without depressing the clutch. So only push that. Wait until the Mazda whatever, Connect MZD system is booted. It's booted. I'm just gonna hit the home here. It says <laughs> select AM, FM, or DAB, digital audio, whatever. So, entertainment. Okay. It says press the three buttons music, favorite, and volume mute on the commander switch at the same time. So, down here by your little dial, you're going to hit your music, okay. music favorite, so music note, a little star, and your push down mute for two to five seconds. Okay, now you get this screen here. Um, use the touch screen or commander knob to input three and then enter, so three, enter. It says read ABC DTC complete, no active DTC, clear. Now hit two, and then enter. So that clears DTCs, whatever that means. Now we hit exit. Okay, switch the ignition to off, close all doors, including bonnet. off. Now it says right here, ignition off, close all doors, including bonnet, lock vehicle with remote, keep all remote transmitters five meters or more away from the vehicle, and wait three minutes. This will go into CMU sleep mode, so we need to have the CMU go to sleep, so, you know, get this away, lock everything, and uh, I guess I should put the top up too. been three minutes now it says unlock the vehicle press the stop start engine push button once without depressing your clutch or brake pedal to switch it to accessory mode connect the usb into port a what is port a? well this one i said it's the bottom one is port a so bottom usb i guess okay it's plugged in now only the prepared usb stick should be inserted into be inserted in one of USB ports, nothing should be inserted in the other USB port and SD card slot where you flash. Okay. USB is recognized and popped up on the top on here. So I want to press our three buttons again, the music note, the favorite star, and the mute. Three to five seconds. Back at our test screen here. That's input 99. So 99. System update. And you want to hit search. It's searching. So right now I have 59.00.546 and there's 70.00100. says select failsafe package first. So you want to do this bottom one. Just caution always do the failsafe package first. Please check if CMU is 29.00000 uh, or older. If yes, refer to the service information R0364-18. Please do not switch ignition off or allow system to switch ignition off automatically until updates have been installed. Stay in the vehicle until failsafe package is finished. Okay, let's do failsafe package. Install. Okay. 
Okay, it took like four minutes, maybe three, four, three minutes. And it says, after failsafe, installation is complete, select OK. OK. Now, from my understanding, the reinstallation package is way bigger than the failsafe package. It says, uh, press our three buttons again. So, music, star, and mute. Hold for two to five seconds. Okay, do 99 again, hit enter, and you want to hit search, we're going to do a reinstallation package, mm, it says current blah blah blah, I'm going to update to this, let's flip our page here, let's hit install, I'm going to hit my clutch pedal now to restart the timer. Let's just do 20 minutes. It says, screen below will display preparing to update black screen to white screen. This will take several minutes. So preparing to update black, white, and then you get a percentage bar. It says re reinstallation will start from zero. During this process, the process bar will gradually increase to 100%. It will take about 40 minutes. Yo, so be pressing your clutch or your brake. <laughs> um, do not turn ignition off to avoid damaging CMU. Uh, in order to avoid accessory power being turned off, you know, press your clutch pedal or your brake pedal approximately 20 after approximately 25 minutes. We strongly recommend to set up a timer for 25 minutes. So it says start zero, press brake pedal. Press brake pedal 25 minutes. So I can leave the vehicle. So I can get out. Sweet. Um, I hope. I'm just going to press it again. Okay, black screen. So black screen, white screen. So I got my timer set up. I did 20 minutes because paranoid. So, let's see. Okay. We'll pick up after that's done. Okay. We're at 29 seconds. Screen's at like 96%. Okay, hit my clutch pedal. If you have automatic, just hit your brake pedal. I'm just gonna start another 20 minute timer. Okay. Okay, so update's done. Only took what, like 25 minutes? I had 20 minutes and only five minutes went by on this. So it doesn't take 40 minutes apparently for a Miata. It only takes 25. I delete that timer. And it says confirm that update is completed and turn the ignition switch that switch off. So I hit it twice. Should have turned off. says don't restart the vehicle so that's what I just did uh, I might have just screwed that up um, it says remove USB stick close all doors blah 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 lock vehicle okay so it wants us to do the same thing you know, lock all the doors, whatever. Lock the vehicle with the remote and keep it away for three minutes. Five meters away for three minutes. Okay, so hopefully I didn't screw it up. So what's interesting here, it says, you can please restart screen, do not restart the engine. But then it says, remove the USB stick, close all doors, lock vehicle with remote, keep it away for five, from five meters and wait wait three minutes. Then it says unlock the vehicle with the remote and push the engine start button once without depressing clutch to turn it back on. So you must have to turn it off. So I guess turning it off really didn't do anything wrong. This is just to put the CMU in sleep mode. So we'll see if I uh, screwed it up or not. So be back in three minutes. Make sure you lock it. Okay, so three minutes have gone by. Now I'm gonna Unlock the vehicle with the remote, 
push the start button without depressing clutch or brake pedal to get into accessory mode. And then wait one minute without touching anything so the system can boot up. And we'll confirm the version in the settings. Okay, so it's been a minute. I'm just gonna go into the settings, go home. USB update here for uh, Android Auto and, and uh, Apple CarPlay. So you need to get this kit here. It has the orange little tag uh, sticking out of it. it. Has the phone port and a little manual that shows you how this all works. So it shows you how to wrap it and route it. It's got to take off a lot of trim pieces sure if you do it once you'll be really fast at it but I think I'm gonna have to take my time with this so I think you need to take this door sill off right here um, guess once to start pulling and see where it lifts up so from the front to the back set that right there we got this little rubber weather stripping it goes up this way. Pull that back. Okay, let's try and pull this off right here. Okay, there's actually little clips here on the side holding it in. We pop over. And then, let me take a peek. Looks like there's a push pin on the back of this plastic. Okay, so I got this piece out. Here's the back of it. Here's that little like push pin rivet. Hate these things. You need to get like a little tool on there and try and pop it out. This one, usually they have like a little cutout. This one doesn't have it. So, got that undone. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Get my light. There's a bolt right here and I hope it's a 10 mil it's a 10 mil okay I'm gonna try and remove the a pillar right here um, grab from this side a wire in here for your tweeter. So let's leave that up there. Okay. Now this needs to come off. I believe. One. So you lift up a little bit right here. And then see if it just comes off all the way. Doesn't really help, and I'm running out of battery. Maybe if I pull it towards me, maybe that's the trick. Pull it toward. Nope. Come on, pull that. There it goes. Just gotta. No. Be rough with it a little bit. Let's remove that now. Come on. 
Okay, wrap your finger around that. This side's a little bit trickier. Okay, that's out. Got the screwdriver. Let's take this out. Set these aside with the other parts so we don't lose them. This is a great little screwdriver. The Linux, Linux. I like it. It's good. So, pull this out. A little clip here. Wire. Pull down the tab. Pull it out. There's your little warning lights and seat warmers. Okay, you might need some pry tools for this, but we're gonna try and pull this out. Little center vent. I don't have pry tools, so I'm gonna use what I have of nails to try and pull it out. Okay, and then let's do a little hazard switch and plug that. So there's going to be a little center bolt right here. Let's go ahead and undo that. Um, just going to guess a 10 mil. 10 mil. Don't drop that. It's this little guy right here. A little silver. 10 mil. So let's remove our little trim piece here your manual. I don't know the automatic thing. Uh, there's a PDF on how to remove the automatic but on the manual. I think you just need to twist like so. And that's a pretty stout shift knob, man. It's got some weight on it. It's nice. So, that's that. Okay, so you lift from the inside here. So, the inside of this uh, emergency brake. So, pop that. Oh, I feel like you're going to break it. Okay. Disconnect your wire on your little control knob. Okay. So that's out. There's a little connector right here. Okay, so let's try and pull these little sides off of here. This dude should be loose. No. We got two wires back here. That's what we're interested in. So let's go ahead and unplug these two cables. Here. And now our old USB hub is uh, you know, accessible. If you have. Uh, navigation SD card. Probably went to a. Uh, however, you. I don't know. I don't have one. You want to probably pull it out of there so you can put it in the new one. So remove that. Let's remove this. Okay. That one. So insert this the right way. Right. Yeah. Done. Go ahead and pull this little SD card thing out. You have your uh, old SD card, put it in here now. 
Okay, now we gotta route some cables. Okay, I looked at it and I guess you need to pull this whole trim back. Like that. And this will come out. On gray greens on the outside, gray blue is on the inside. So green in there, blue goes in there. And I guess you can just tuck this one, zip tie it, probably zip tie it so it doesn't rattle. So I'm doing that right now. There. Old connector zip tied, hopefully, it doesn't make any noise. So I think I'm gonna route this maybe first, and then wrap it. I mean, uh, let's see what it does. This thing's a mess right now. Don't know if my battery's gonna die. Chasing batteries here. So I'm gonna run this down and through here. Hopefully, no problems. Cables down here. Um, gonna get a little bit extra just to make sure. And then I'll wrap this up. So there's all your extra. And then I'll use the supplied sponge tape to help isolate any noises that this might make. neighbors if you hear them. They're always screaming. Okay, so you're going to push this all the way back to this side if you can. Then you want to line up these tabs right here and then push it back in. I tried doing this and it really didn't work because there's no way to really get back there easily without disconnecting everything. I don't want to do that. Get this lined up all the way to the back best you can. This stupid thing gets in the way. in there. Now, got these ones down here. I'm going to wrap those, I guess. What I'm going to do, pull this tight and then zip tie it to the existing one. goes brown, black, whatever this one is. Brown, black. Brown. Black. This big one. Zip tie up the old one. There's an old one right here. The green connector.
sure I still have battery. Battery's almost dead. <sighs> okay. This is our little airbag thing, if I remember. Okay, that snapped in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Silver screw. Tin mill. Oh, let me snap this back in. Okay. I'll drop this. I kind if I go drive and I get rattles, I'll be pretty upset. <laughs> Don't want to do it again. Let's put these side dudes on. This slides in. There's like a little thing. Let's put this left piece back on. Remember? Put this in first, or put this in first. I guess it doesn't really matter. But, um, you know, it just fits in pretty easily. Huh. Nice. Now, let's put our center console thing piece in. So this have to go this has to go underneath the lip right here I see. It catches. So make sure you do that. Just bang it in. Put your nose back on. Okay. Um Probably working not backwards here, but put our right now, hazard light thing. It's going back the other way faster than it came apart. Put this back in. Make sure I'm still recording. Battery still a little bit left. latches in and it goes up just like latches down here yeah there's one right here hooks into this I think, uh, yeah Oh shoot, I need to put that weather stripping back on. Put this weather stripping back on. I think it goes so. right until where this cutout is. If I remember because it kind of goes like that. 
lined up. Neighborhood racer. on here that go around the body and there's a little push rivet thing not push rivet like a pushing clip um, the hidden ones not one of these ah oh, shoot do that without taking everything apart. Okay. Done. Battery's almost dead. Okay. So all installed you know all updated so I really suggest you get a properly good cable like a anchor I think there's like power cord too I don't know I have a link to this cable in the description I have a like a pioneer head unit in my truck and none of the cables would work it would disconnect constantly this wire this USB solved that problem so if you can't get the cable to work or you know it doesn't recognize this unrecognizable device or something get one of these cables it might be a fix so link in the description they're worth it and they're really durable and they have a great warranty so let's go ahead and plug this into our device port let's turn this on yelling at me so plug in my phone phone's plugged in oh boy look at that so I'm gonna hit agree continue There we go. Working perfect. So now you can leave your phone wherever you want. Have your stuff over here. So so works great. Awesome. Uh, took a uh, you know one night. Just to do it here, you know, I started at, what, 7 or something, had dinner, came back out, finished it. Now that I've done it once, it should be pretty easy if I ever have to do it again, but that's how you uh, get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in your Miata. So, hope that helped you guys out. I have links to everything in the description if you need it, like PDFs and files and... Uh, stuff I used. So thank you for watching. Hope this helped you out.